gonna flip this. I will never ever throw carp egg from now on. Look at how beautiful that is. See? Look. Ooh, I got one. Yeah. That's really looks like a big one. Yeah. So let's find out where is it. Okay, this is actually a very nice neck. So all I need to do is just wind, unwind it. And then look at that. Woohoo! I got it. Yes, it's getting dark, really. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. That's it. Yes, I got it. Yeah! I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh big one. Alright, this looks like a mirror mirror cup. Yep, that's a mirror cup for sure. So I'm going to move this a little bit to a higher ground. There we go. Ooh. This is the fish. See how big it is. Yeah, beautiful fish. Look at that. So this is mirror carp. Look at the stomach. Such a big, big fish. I don't know, this may be about 3-4 kilo. Yep, I got this on corn. And yep, I will show you all how I cook this. And please watch my other videos, how I process this and this beautiful fish. All right. Thank you for watching and I'm going home now. And look at that tummy. Look at the stomach, so, so big. So it is called mirror car because, see, here there's no scales at all. The scale is only here, so like, it's like a mirror, you know. Look at that, look at the stomach. See how big the stomach I can assure you. This is all uh, fish egg, you know full of eggs really look at that huge so again i'd like to explain here in australia this is considered pest because it was introduced by the european and now it has taken over the ecosystem of uh, australia the reaper fish the native fish hardly you can find now uh, i don't even know what is native fish because i have not seen one really and I've only seen uh, redfin and again redfin was also introduced so yes there's eels okay eel is native yep and there's eels and but eel has to fight with this guy because this guy eats everything worm uh, bugs anything they will eat so and they cause the water to be muddy and when the water is muddy it's not good for the eels too so yeah so I'm not sure this is what maybe five kilos i think yeah this is really really big all right so it's good to have a very uh, sharp knife so again i will start to open up the the stomach i will start as far as here so just poke it i can go through the middle here but normally i don't i will go around it because it's not easy to go through here so just do like this poke it Okay, and then uh, push the, the the knife blade outwards so that you will not poke it to the, the tummy, the stomach. So you just go down, see, look around here. And then I just go back there again. Right up to the... Look at that. Look at the amount of fish egg. Yeah, but I'm going to take the egg out. Let me go and get a plate. This, this actually hundreds of thousands of eggs, and these eggs. If you look at these eggs here, this is this egg is ready to be fertilized. So if these eggs are fertilized, all this will become um, fish, and let's say one percent of them will become a big fish like this. That is still a lot. So I'm gonna put this here and. Try to remove it. Wow, look at this. Just so, so much. It is so ready to come out. See, it's right at the end. Just ready to be fertilized, actually. But it has been raining recently, so they don't they don't uh, spawn during during rain. Normally, spawning happens when there is no rain and the water level is going to be very, very, very low. There will be a certain pocket uh, by the river or by the creek where they can spawn and during that time the water will be almost crystal clear because there's no rain and yep fish spawning spawning yeah 
Look at that. Yeah, carp. Yeah. Everywhere actually, if you go down, there will be some also. Yeah. It usually happened uh, early in the morning. My dad or my grandpa used to tell me that when you wake up in the morning and it was it is during dry season and you feel chill, there's a chill in the air. Usually they can they can actually feel it. Usually fish are spawning somewhere in a river somewhere and they know exactly where it is and then they will paddle right up to that place and they will be coming with hundreds of fish. Then we will uh, uh, smoke it and that can give us meat for a year so yeah there it is look at this amount of I'm going to take the stomach too. I just don't want to break the, the, the sack oh man that's so so much I think the egg itself is more than a kilo yeah it's more than a kilo all right normally if I open a little bit more uh, the heart is somewhere here. Where is the heart? There it is. Okay, the heart is always protected by the head. Of course, this has been in the fridge for overnight, so it probably stopped. But the most important thing again is the gallbladder. This must be removed immediately. So I'm just going to remove this gallbladder. There it is, see, gallbladder. And there's yellow bitter things in there. So if that bursts, then it will cause the rest of the fish to be bitter. So I'm going to take this out and get rid of it immediately. Right? Okay. It should be hot and nice. So I'm just going to fry it like a normal fry, an egg fry. You can just actually fold this like this, like that. I'm going to do two of it. Okay, that should be good. That should be done. Okay, that's good. Wow. Yum. Okay, I'm going to cook another one. Yeah, I'm going to cook. Yes. Uh, roll it. Four. Like that. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Now we'll flip that too. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful this thing. Beautiful. Okay, that that's beautiful okay and, and there you have it beautiful okay I'm supposed to eat this with rice honestly so I'm gonna get a bit of rice let's try this mm, mm. the text the texture is just beautiful all right let me try the other okay this one I actually uh, wrap it so inside is maybe half cooked. You know what? I prefer this one. I definitely prefer this one. This is better. That one just now is a bit overcooked. This is definitely, definitely better. Mmm, no. I go for this one, not that one. Just compare. This one is a bit dry. Where else? This one is really, really good. This one is dry and overcooked. No. I may need some sauce. This is from the same mix, from the same batter. Just salt and pepper. But this one, after the bottom part of it, half cooked. I flip it and make it into a, a sandwich. So on the inside, let me just show that. It's still, look, 
she's a half cook it's cooked but not overcooked no the other way around okay it's cooked but not overcooked and it's just so so good okay you can take this with rice i have some rice here or okay i have a sourdough here i'm gonna put this one on top here like this okay a little bit and And I would normally use chili sauce, but I'm going to put this also not too bad. Okay. And now I'm going to use a different utensil. Hmm. Oh, this is so good. Look at that. Look at that. Yum. Well guys, I would never ever throw carp egg from now on. Look at how beautiful that is. See? You can see those tiny tiny Yep, tiny tiny eggs. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Mmm. So, so, yeah, beautiful, you can see the eggs, those are the eggs, beautiful eggs, and of course these are eggs too, that fried, but the one inside also cooked, so the video is just, let me just taste it without the sauce, oh, that is so, so good, so, so good, mmm,